Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the UI font size in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I mean is the font size of the actual UI elements, the user interface. So you can see this text, this text, this text, anything over here. We're going to be adjusting all of that uh, to make it easier to see. So let's get started. This is actually pretty simple to accomplish. You're going to want to click Control, then F12 to bring up this console menu right here. Now, on a Mac, you may need to hit Command and then FN F12 uh, to bring this up as well. Once you are on this thing, you want to make sure that you click this little hamburger button. We're going to go down to the Debug Database View. And then we want to search for Font Size. The reason being is that sometimes this is not at the top depending on your version and things like that. So we just want to make sure that we're only selecting this. Extend it outwards because sometimes this thing opens up small and you can't actually see it. So extend it till you see the number. Then this number is the font size. I believe default starts off at 12. I've raised mine to 16 to make them easier to see in tutorials. But let's go something extreme. Let's go like 26 so we can see that it's actually working. All you have to do is select it like this, 26, and then just close that out of it. There's no save button. Then let's restart Premiere Pro and take a look at the new font size. You'll notice we'll load in. The font size does not change this particular menu right here. So load the project in and we can then take a look at the actual project. Once it loads, you can see that we have very, very large font here. And you can see that it's not best suited when you make these things really large. There's some clipping right here. Um, over here, there's some bottom clipping. So you don't want to go too crazy on this, but you can make it larger so it is easier to see for whatever purpose you may need that for. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you would like to continue your Premiere Pro learning in a very organized fashion, check out the course in the link in the description below. It is a course that I actually have created from scratch that teaches you Premiere Pro as a tutorial-based way, meaning you do small little incremental things until you basically have mastered most of the effects in Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone, until next time, see ya.